Yo, got another Spark and Zero discussion type of video, kind of like last one where I compared to Dragon Ball Fighters, and today I want to talk more about balance, you know what I'm saying, because Spark and Zero are not fighters, buddy! Not. Different game! In the comments of my last video, people were like, yo, we don't want balance. We want to hop online with these super strong overpowered characters, transform and dominate if you pick a weakling type shit. So I want to kind of talk about that while looking at some more gameplay. We got this one from Steedoge, just with some random characters playing around, then we gonna have another one by Argon. I just want to, you know, look at a variety of different live gameplays. Camera already moving kind of mod. The barrier though. Okay, that looks sick. But anyways, so what I'm really worried about is, you know, Dragon Ball Fighters, it's all about balance. You know what I'm saying? You have low tiers, high tiers, of course. As usual, you have characters that are better than others and can do more than others on top of being easier to use since, you know, that game does require a lot of skill to be proficient at. But what's nice is that, bro, even now, they put a lot of focus on balancing. So if you watch my streams, if you watch, you know, my survival mode series, you're going to see a variety of teams when I hop online, bro. And they all have their own unique mix-ups. They all have their own unique pressure powers, combos, neutral strategies. And that's what's really dope. Like, I'm not just getting cooked by the top tiers. Like, sometimes, yeah, I face Cell and, you know, that guy be cooking me. But sometimes I just be getting sauced on by Krillin or something, you know? And there's a lot of matchup knowledge and intricacies that go into that where if you're good at the game, you can win with practically anyone. And that's what's kind of worrying me with these casual 3D arena fighter type of games. Because it's like, yeah, I understand we want to have fun with it. But bro, does that mean that online ranked is just going to have the same characters over and over and over again? We had fusion meta and fighters where the fusion were by far the best. Even though, you know, a lot of people tried not to play them, but in tournaments, it was hard to avoid that, right? Because if they wanted to win, they had to pick the most efficient characters. And, bruh, online, it was just Vegito, Gogeta, whichever forms. And then you had, uh, you know, a third with UI that was thrown on there, you know, 21 because of the mix-ups. Uh, Android 18, same thing because the barrier stuff. And it's like so repetitive and toxic, especially online, you're just trying to have fun with it, you know, while trying to grind up ranked, and it's such a bad environment to be in, man. Always, you know, rinse and repeat, I seen like Reddit, I don't know if, you know, ooh, the aura on the Super Saiyan God, if y'all keep up with like Fighters Reddit, but everyone was just done with it. And since they balanced that out, a lot of people have been feeling a lot better, you know, the fusion people who generally enjoy them were uh, a bit sad with the nurse and stuff but it was such a better environment to play in know what i'm saying and i want sparking zero to be like that but i do understand what they're trying to say they're trying to say like yo we want to be a good character you know like if we pick broly we want to dominate just like broly did in the show so i do understand that but in that regard is what i would want to have because i don't know too much about how the online is gonna look like for the game at this moment I wanted to have like a casual setting because you know how let's compare it to xenoverse because xenoverse is like the best uh what do you call it comparison the best alternative there you go the best alternative for uh spiking zero right now and that one it has like ranked with limitations ranked without limitations it has other modes with friends and stuff like that so i'm hoping it still has a casual setting where you know power level if you want to call it that does matter where a broly will destroy a krillin but when you enter ranked, I need it to be so that Ocrillin could survive, you know what I'm saying? Like, these low tier characters could be able to keep up, which I don't know. I don't know how they would make that if they really wanted to be focused like the previous games. Maybe, you know, we've seen a lot of Dragon Ball games revolve around super armor and stuff. You know, stronger characters just can't be affected by the hits. So you have to be like strategic in retreating and approaching and stuff like that. But I feel like super armor is just such a lazy way to uh, handle the situation. I feel like a better way would be to kind of have some sort of balance where you get some unique tech out of it. And you're able to maximize characters that way. And... From what I've seen so far, I haven't seen that much tech, which is to be expected, right? It's like a 3D fighting game, and the characters all kind of look similar. But in a ranked environment, bro, I would love that. I would love if they could somehow make it more balanced so that weaker characters do still have a chance, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to just see Tournament of Power People, even though, you know, it's been uh, it's been nice to have these, these characters show up in, you know, Xenoverse. Because we haven't really had many Dragon Ball games with Tournament of Power and Dragon Ball Super people, right? So it's nice, you know, taking advantage of that and running these Tournament of Power characters. But bro, 
we're just gonna see what UI head Beerus Broly's like and the fusions. Come on, like I wanna run. I don't know. Uh, I was about to say Kefla, but she also didn't power. I wanna run Goku Black for sure, hundred percent. But I don't want to just be you know Rose Goku Black to be able to win. And I wanna rock like you know. Uh, Gohan, adult Gohan, I'm saying I want to rock buff trunks. I want to rock these Z characters or even, you know, the youngins they used back in the day and still be able to be unique with them, not just hop online and just get my ass beat because of super armor type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Even in fighters, they kind of have this with raid bosses where the CPU they get little buffs to their stats to make it harder, right? But it's not like unbeatable. The raid bosses they have more health. They have, uh, they deal more damage, they, they don't have like super armor, but they have these slight buffs that do make them feel more intimidating, but you just have to be smarter with it. And because it's a CPU, it's a bit easier to kind of like outsmart them because it's not like they're going to hit you with a full combo like a normal player would. But it'd be interesting if they could kind of use those aspects in Spiking Zero where it's like, oh, the, the buff to Broly is not just that he has super armor and you can't even touch him. It's just that, oh, he has some boosts to this. But the smaller characters, say you're fighting like this little Gohan against Freezer right now, right? It should be easier for him to dodge Broly, you feel me? And that should make it more fair in that regard. Because, bro, I do not want to hop on a rank of Ryan and just deal with the same teams over and over and over with the same like broken supers broken you know neutral strategies i wanted to have some creativity man some interaction some ways to counter because oh, i'm all about competition man i'm such a competitive player as you guys have seen from you know my streams my ideas my gameplay and even the way i play it's not i just don't play to just win i'm competitive in that there is a fun way to play. I focus a lot on my movement. I focus on a lot on defense, on honesty, and I just don't work on like, you know, abusing plus frames, abusing 50-50s. I want to interact with my opponent and I want it to be in a competitive way where we can both, you know, kind of push ourselves to the limit of our movement abilities, of our defensive abilities, reactions, and really use our own sense to maximize our own potential. You feel me? I don't want to make this video too long, but I do want to go to another gameplay. This time we're watching Yamcha go to work on same. That's what I'm saying. If you boot up online, and, and I know Daughter won't be picking Yamcha. <laughs> so I have that competitive aspect as well, but not in the competitive aspect of just not having fun like those two are different you know people compete without having fun by just picking characters that they hate because they want to win and there's also people who pick their favorite characters and just have fun but because they're they're too low tier they don't win so curious to see how they address that issue in the online ranked environment it's, it's a hard situation man because i like, like i said i did have some suggestions like slight buffs not just revolving around super armor and having even slight slight buffs for for the the smaller characters the weaker characters and i wish like those quote-unquote weaker characters could have something more special more unique to them to incite their use more you know what i'm saying like a really good example is Master Ocean Fighters, bro. No one really wants to play him, an old man, but he can't super dash. He uses his beam to ricochet off walls. Like, that's mad creative. His movement is so good because he has other properties that he can't do. He can't, you know, super jump float. He can't super dash all the way. It's not really tracking. It's just a horizontal, vertical, linear beam. You know what I mean? So they gave him other tools to make up for that. And, bro, the, the amount of diversity in tools and usage and creativity you get from everyone's tools that's what i love so much about fighters and i wish i hope spark and Zero can still capture that but at the end of the day man it is gonna have a lot of online playability which is i think what we're all looking forward to the most and it's gonna be really fun to do those what if stories to you know make our own stuff up i had a lot of fun with customization you know in the previous games with raging blast too bro you know grinding out the, the platinum trophies Ugh. grinding out trophies is always something that i personally really like so that's, that was super fun in, in Dragon Ball games. I remember in Xenoverse, you had to get like Super Saiyan Blue or something. And that was that was such a fun grind for me. So I do appreciate that too. But online, bro, I just really hope that they handle ranked. You know, the competitive, what's supposed to be competitive and the highest level of online ranked. I hope they treat that in a good way so that it doesn't just get infested with, you know, Tournament of Power fellas, Broly fellas, movie fellas. And then they can keep that for the casual online place you, you get what i'm trying to say so make casuals more about that but then make ranked more balanced 
You feel me? I don't know. Let me know what y'all think down below. I do definitely understand, you know, oh, got a great ape too. I do definitely understand, like, bro, if you boot up with a great ape and you're facing, uh, you know, kid trunks, you should be rocking them. But at the same time, it's like, bro, like, I'm picking kid trunks. Like, bro, you think I pick kid trunks to go online to lose on purpose? You think I want to lose with kid trunks? Nah, I want to throw hands too. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's very hard to balance both sides, man. But, hey, I know people... Damn, he not he knocking the great ape. Like, that's what I like to see. I know some people are just gonna hop online and just, you know, pick the strongest fellas. I do get that, but bro, you know, you can have some fun too with your own unique teams. And I hope there's gonna be room to have those unique teams, those unique takes, and unique playstyles. While still being competitively viable and winning. Ooh, this super look beautiful, man. Sheesh. But with that being said, I don't want to make this video too, too long. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Super excited for